हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर नंद कुमार रावले फ्रॉम कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग अंबाज हो गई इज गोइंग टू डील विथ फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स तो इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द बल्क मॉडलर्स एंड कॉम्प्रेसिबिलिटी द रिलेशन बिटवीन बल्क मॉडलर्स एंड कॉम्प्रेसिबिलिटी देन वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द फेनामिन ऑफ सर्फेस टेंशन एंड कैपिलरिटी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द न्यूमेरिकल्स ऑन विस्कॉसिटी सर्फेस टेंशन and capillarity let us see the numericals so very first numerical is a plate at a distance of 0.02 mm from a fixed plate moves at 60 cm per second and requires a force of 2 newton per meter square to maintain speed determine the viscosity of the fluid between the plates so what he says Uh, there is a fixed plate and a plate another plate which moves at a velocity of 60 cm per second and it is at a distance of 0.025 mm from the fixed plate let us consider this is one fixed plate and there is another plate which is a moving plate so this is fixed plate it has got velocity as 0 p is equal to 0 it is fixed means it is not moving so let this be the fixed plate and the distance between these two plates is 0.025 mm <coughs> then uh, this upper plate moves a moving plate this moves at a velocity u is equal to 60 cm per second now another thing is given that this plate is moved with a force of 2 newton per meter square so this is not a force actually so this is a shear stress acting or required to move this plate so tau is equal to 2 newton per meter square this is given so now let us uh, collect this data and uh, try to solve this problem so now what is given the distance between two plates is dy which is 0.025 mm that we have discussed here so this distance is nothing but a dy distance between two plates is 0.025 mm so this is given in mm we need it in meter square so we have to convert it in meter so dividing it by 1000 or multiplying it by 10 to the power of minus 3 we get a dy in meters so here 0.025 into 10 to the power of minus 3 then it gets converted into meter <coughs> then what is says the moving plate is uh, at a velocity of 60 cm per second so this is uh, u2 and fixed plate is moving say at uh, zero velocity u1 so this fixed plate is moving at zero velocity and this moving plate is moving at a velocity of 60 cm per second okay then we can write this as u2 is the velocity of a moving plate which is 60 cm so we convert it in meters by dividing it by 100 so 60 divided by 100 is 0.6 meters per second then coming to the velocity of fixed plate is 6, uh, 0 meters per second because it is fixed it is not moving then it requires a force of 2 newton per meter square he is going to say it is not a force the unit of force is newton so here he has a given newton per meter square that is nothing but uh, in terms of force he has defined but it is a shear stress tau so this is given and he is asking us to find out viscosity of the fluid between two plates <coughs> so we know the equation tau is equal to mu du by dy so now if we know everything in this relation tau is given which is known dy is known 
now we need to find out du what is du du is the difference between the velocity so if we have two plates and there is a relative motion between these two plates which are at distance y so this is moving at u1 this is moving at u2 so u2 minus u1 is nothing but difference in the velocity du <coughs> so du is equal to u2 minus u1 so first of all if we calculate u2 minus u1 we get du then dy is already given and tau is also given mu is unknown so now um, while solving uh, what we do first so that velocity difference du is equal to u2 minus u1 whereas u2 is equal to 0.6 minus 0 so this is 0.6 <coughs> meters per second is du now we know that the formula tau is equal to mu du divided by dy so tau is also given to us tau is 2 newton per meter square so this is 2 into mu this is unknown which we want to find out then into du which we obtained as 0 0.6 dy is 0 0.025 into 10 to the power of minus 3 so mu is equal to 2 into 0 0.025 into 10 to the power of minus 3 divided by 0 0.6 so if we calculate this this works out as mu is equal to 8.33 into 10 to the power of minus 5 newton second per meter square so the unit of viscosity is newton second per meter square or <coughs> uh, this is nothing but if we multiply it by 10 then it will be twice so here mu is equal to 8.33 into 10 to the power of minus 5 into 10 voice so 1 newton second per meter square sorry 10 newton um, second uh, sorry 10 voice is equal to 1 newton per um, newton second per meter square so multiplying it by 10 we get mu is equal to 8 0.33 into 10 to the power of minus 4 voice so this is what is the answer for this given problem viscosity mu is given as mu is equal to 8.33 into 10 to the power of minus 4 voice or this is 8 0.33 into 10 to the power of minus 5 newton second per meter square <clears throat> so coming to this next numerical second problem so what he is going to ask is calculate the dynamic viscosity of oil that is mu only which is used for lubrication between a square plate of size 0 0.8 meter into 0.8 meter and a inclined plane with an angle of 30 degree the weight of the square plate is 300 newton and it slides down the inclined plane with a uniform velocity of 0.3 meter per second then thickness of oil is 1.5 mm so there are two plates one is the fixed plate and which is inclined at angle 30 degree to horizontal and another plate which is at distance of 1.5 mm from the inclined plate there is a oil between these two plates so the inclined plane over which a square plane or plate uh, is going to slide is having the weight of 300 newton so let us see this uh, with the help of a diagram say here this is an inclined plane which is at angle theta 
which is at angle not theta we take it as 30 degree so this is a fixed inclined plane fixed plane or plate which is inclined so we call this as e1 is equal to 0 meters per second this is moving at 0 meters per second now we have another plane or a plate which is moving over this and the distance between this is a moving plate having velocity u2 is equal to 0.3 meters per second 0.3 meters per second and the distance between these two plates there is a distance between these two plates which is 1.5 mm now if you see here If you see here, this plate is moving in the downward direction, sliding down. And then this plate, a moving plate has got a weight, which is 300 Newton. So the weight is always acting in the downward direction. So this weight is acting W, which is equal to 300 Newton acting in the downward direction so when we see this as a triangle so this is the inclined plane then this is the horizontal plane this is angle 30 degree <coughs> and if we draw vertical line here so this angle will be 90 this is this is 90 90 minus 30 means this angle will be 60 degree that is nothing but the vertical plane so along with which this weight is acting at 60 degree if we resolve this weight along the plane then this will be w cos of 60 degree or 90 minus 30 30 let us 30 say is 30 is angle theta so now we will see that the force which is making this plate to move in the downward direction is w cos 60 w cos 60 is the force which makes this plate to move in the downward direction so now from this we can find out shear stress we know force and we know area area is given as 0 0.8 into 0 0.8 meters square so this area of a square plate which is moving in the downward direction is also given so let us collect this information given in this problem say the square plate which is going to slide square plate which is going to slide is having area 0 0.8 by 0 0.8 meter <coughs> so total area is 0.64 meter square so angle of inclination if we see angle of inclination is say theta is equal to 30 degree this is 30 degree then weight of plate so this plate is having weight of 300 newton and then velocity of this plate is 0.3 meters per second so u2 is 0.3 meters per second he is given that plate is moving with a uniform velocity of 0.3 meters per second and the inclined plane is fixed this is not moving so this velocity is 0 meters per second and the distance between two plates is 1.5 mm that is 1.5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meter so as it was in mm so we have taken it in uh, meter so here also he is asking to find out the uh, viscosity of the fluid between two plates so whatever is the fluid between these two plates so what is viscosity of this fluid between two plates he is asking then what we want to find out is uh, tau is equal to mu du by dy so dy which is given in this problem which is 1.5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meter then tau shear stress is not given du we can find out du is equal to uh, change in the velocity or a velocity difference that is u2 minus u1 so then uh, we can know this uh, du also what about shear stress shear stress is nothing but force per unit area 
so force we can calculate as i told you the weight of this plate is responsible to move this plate in the inclined direction so component of weight is w cos 90 minus theta this angle is 90 minus theta therefore cos 90 minus theta w cos 90 minus theta this gives us force and area is given in this problem so we get shear stress let us start to solve this problem so very first we can find out du then we can find out f then we can find out tau so now <coughs> change in the velocity or velocity difference du is equal to u2 minus u1 which is nothing but u2 minus u1 u2 is 0.3 and u1 is 0 0.3 minus 0 is equal to 0.3 meters per second is the change in velocity <coughs> then we uh, obtained du so this is over now we want to find out force so force f is equal to w cos 90 minus theta w cos 90 minus theta this gives us force so w is equal to 300 cos 90 minus theta is 30 that is 60 degrees so force is equal to 150 newton So this is force this is change in <coughs> velocity then shear stress tau is equal to force per unit area force is known that is 150 newton and area is 0.64 meter square so this gives us the shear stress as two forty three point three seven Newton per meter square <clears throat> now we know shear stress so as we know shear stress we can use this equation we can use this equation shear stress is equal to mu du by dy shear stress is equal to two hundred forty three point three seven, which is equal to mu into du is point three and dy is given distance between two plates is one point five mm or one point five into ten to the power of minus three. So one point five into ten to the power of minus three. Therefore, mu is equal to 243.37 into 1.5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 all divided by 0.3 so this mu is equal to we get as 1.17 newton second per meter square or multiplying it by 10 that is 1.17 into 10 this will be in poise so that is 11.7 poise is the viscosity of a substance or a fluid between two plates so this is mu or in newton second per meter square this is the viscosity <coughs> coming to the third problem again here there is a problem on the surface tension so here what he says the surface tension of a water in contact with the air 
at 20 degrees Celsius this is not required so this data uh, is not required here is a point seven point zero seven two five Newton per meter the pressure inside the droplet is to be point zero two Newton per centimeter square greater than the outside pressure so this is the difference between the pressure calculate the diameter of droplet so he is asking us to find out the diameter of droplet so here there is a droplet having diameter d over this surface the surface tension sigma x and sigma value is given as 0 0.0725 newton per meter and inner pressure uh, and outer pressure we have so say p2 is inner pressure and p1 is outer pressure <coughs> so there is a pressure difference and that pressure difference is given that is nothing but uh, 0.2 newton per centimeter square so inner pressure is greater than the outer pressure then he is asking us to calculate diameter of water droplet oh, sorry uh, what is a uh, water droplet now uh, here uh, what is given the surface tension sigma is given pressure is given so this pressure must be in newton per meter square so we can take it as 0 0.02 into 10 to the power of 4 newton per meter square we can take it like this because this is a centimeter per, uh, per uh, newton per centimeter square so this uh, can be converted into meter and by converting it into meter we can write it like this okay then we want to find out diameter d so what is formula for the surface tension of a water droplet p is equal to 4 sigma divided by d yesterday we have derived so what we know p is known then sigma is known we need to find out d so here <coughs> so we can take p is equal to 4 sigma divided by d so p is known to us which is 0 0.02 into 10 to the power of 4 is equal to 4 into sigma is 0 0.0725 divided by d so therefore diameter of the droplet is 4 into 0 0.0725 divided by 0 0.02 into 10 to the power of 4 so this diameter d which we calculate as 0 0.00145 meter or if we multiply it by mm that it will be uh, 1.45 mm so water droplet diameter is <coughs> 1.45 mm so in this way we got this uh, diameter of the water droplet now coming to this uh, fourth numerical capillarity rise so what is this capillarity rise or fall so same tube is immersed in this problem in two uh, different liquids uh, one is water another is mercury <coughs> so what he says calculate the capillary rise in a glass tube of 0.25 mm diameter diameter is given so this is the container and it has got once water once mercury and in this a tube is immersed a glass tube is immersed having a diameter of d is equal to 2.5 mm <coughs> when this is immersed into this so if it is water it is going to rise and if it is a mercury it is going to uh, have the depression so now uh, here once water is used once mercury is used so in this single problem he has uh, considered two uh, liquids that means we have to find out the data for two liquids then take surface tension as 0 0.0725 newton per meter for uh, water and surface tension for mercury is given as 0 0.52 newton per meter 
which is for mercury the specific gravity of mercury is also given and angle of contact uh, that is theta of uh, for a surface tension of mercury is 130 degree and angle of contact for this uh, water is zero which is not required to be given so now collecting this data diameter of tube is <coughs> 0.25 mm that is nothing but sorry 2.5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meter so surface tension for water is 0 0.0725 newton meter and surface tension for mercury is 0 0.52 newton meter and the specific gravity for mercury is given so now we uh, he is asking us to find out the capillary rise capillary rise or capillary fall that we have to find out so hw and hm we have to find out if it is water for how much of height it will move in the tube and if it is a mercury for how much of distance it will fall in the tube so the standard equation for h is equal to 4 sigma cos theta divided by rho g d so now uh, to find out this so h is equal to 4 sigma cos theta divided by rho g d so if we want to find out it for water so we write it as hw so 4 into sigma for water is given as 0 0.0725 0 0.0725 0 into cos of theta is 0 for water divided by rho density of water is 1000 into g is 9.81 and diameter of this tube which is given as 2.5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 <clears throat> so this if we calculate this will be point zero one one eight meter or in mm or centimeter this can be one point one eight centimeter and in mm it will be eleven point eight mm so that is nothing but the water will rise in this tube for 11 mm 11.8 mm vertically if it is a water hw now if it is a mercury <coughs> so h mercury we can call this as 4 sigma cos theta divided by rho g d so density of mercury we don't know but specific gravity is given <coughs> So specific gravity is equal to density of mercury divided by density of water. So <coughs> density of mercury is equal to specific gravity of mercury into density of water. So specific gravity is 13.6 into this density of water is 1000. So this will be 13,600 kg per meter cube is the mass density of mercury which was not known to us so uh, in this problem so he has given instead of density specific gravity <coughs> already in the properties of uh, fluid so we have discussed about specific gravity it is the ratio of mass density of the liquid to the mass density of standard liquid so from this we can find out density of the liquid so 4 into sigma sigma is the density of mercury which is given in this problem as 0 0.52 newton per newton per meter 0 0.52 into cos of angle theta is given here in this problem which is 130 degree so angle is given so which was not written here theta is equal to 130 degree so 130 degree then rho is 13600 <coughs> into g is 9.81 into diameter is 2.5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 so this is the diameter of tube so if we simplify this we get it as <coughs> minus this will be in minus 
पॉइंट जीरो जीरो फोर मीटर और दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज माइनस पॉइंट फोर सेंटीमीटर और दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज माइनस फोर एम एम सो माइनस इंडिकेट्स दिस इज द मर्क्यूरी लेवल इज गोइंग टू फॉल बिलो द सर्फेस ऑफ द मर्क्यूरी इन द कंटेनर सो दिस इज द मर्क्यूरी लेवल सो इफ वी टेक मर्क्यूरी हियर ट्यूब सो दिस लेवल इज गोइंग टू डिक्रीज हियर सो दिस डिक्रीज इज शोन बाय नेगेटिव साइन नेगेटिव साइन इंडिकेट्स देर इज अ डिप्रेशन सो नेगेटिव साइन indicates the capillary depression so with this we stop here and in next class we will discuss the further things thank you